Sha fere la so manyora. Fere o ha banila po. Yeah man. Otherwise, I'm good man. Ba 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 boom. Popping was popping was popping. It's a Sunday yeah. podcast baby. We've been waiting all week. week. Two weeks in a row we've been yeah. waiting for this one. Yeah boy. Now we're here. Yeah boy. And now we're here once again. If you don't understand why we've been so anxious to get to today it's because this is our therapy session <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah this this is the this is the vibes that get us out of the moods i don't wanna lie like even today i did not want to do anything but you know there's a there's a philosophical um principle that when you do things that you don't want to do by the end of you doing those things you're like yo it was actually worth it you know what I mean? Getting out of bed and actually yeah. doing this thing. You know yeah. what I mean? No, yeah. definitely. So majority of the time, you know, when I wake up, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be doing this podcast. But every time when I'm done on a Sunday, I'm like, yo, man, this is actually dope. You know it was I mean? always good. Yeah. It yeah. gets us out of our, you know, depression. It makes you, sh- you, it makes you, it gets you out of the yeah, depression. Depression, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's yeah, true. That's true. true. Definitely. Definitely. We should stop just But the, the word's not being thrown around. I think everybody is depressed. The world is depressing. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, not to be bleak, but the world is depressing. I had I had a, a conversation this morning with my significant other. I was like, it's crazy how you check, you sit here and, and you check like, how is something like a cigarette, like I'm not judging anybody because I was a smoker myself, but how is that legal? That Like that does nothing but harm you. Yeah. And then you have to pay for water. That's that's the world you look like. Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. Like, how, bro? But you have to pay for cigarettes as well, don't you? That, yeah, you have to pay, and it's killing you. And then you have to pay for water at the same time. Mm. Even alcohol. Mm-hmm. Even alcohol. Mm-hmm. Like alcohol. I was thinking because I'm I'm looking at myself. I'm like I, I must drink less because I want to bulk up. I'm working out more. Mm-hmm. All of this. Mm-hmm. Eat healthy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I must cut down on the alcohol. And I'm thinking people who don't work out and do all of this other stuff, they basically drink, 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 and they drink themselves to a pulp. Have you ever yeah. seen like a you know, an excessive drinker, like yeah. an alcoholic, how, what they usually look like. Even how is that? How is that put out there to for somebody to be like, yeah, yes, yeah, I'm consuming, to and to that degree, no ha. To be not that I have anything I against alcohol, I still love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think to be honest, I mean, it's it's a it's a balance as well of, I think it's the life that we live. You know, I think humans, to be honest with you, humans were not built to be working 24 seven. Exactly. To be working every day during the week, every day of the month, every day of the year. You yeah. Know? So that's why you find that, you know, the us having to work so many times, so many hours, so long hours that we end up, you know, that's like our escape. That's the time where we can at least then relax, you know, yeah. when we're going out, whether we're drinking, we're smoking, whatever the case may be, you know. Mm-hmm. So you're totally right. It's not a healthy but I think it's just because we don't get enough rest. You know That's I mean? true. Humans, humans true. to be honest, if you just look at animals, animals will, will show you, you know, a lion, you know, doesn't really, you know, hunt all day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes they're sleeping. Sometimes they're just walking around. They're relaxing, you know, until they have to hunt. You yeah. know what I mean? So I think humans, it's the same way, you know. The way we're supposed to live is the way, you know, like the native people live usually. Live, yeah, you know what I mean? exactly. They don't, exactly. They, they don't live in this world where it's like, it's just about the constant, rush. Constant, constant. It's the rush all the time. It's, it's the rush, us, dog. Man. It's, it's yo, it gets to us. And that's why I say the world is such a depressing mm, p- mm, place mm, to mm, be mm, in. Mm, mm, or at least we've made it that way, you know, mm. with the system and everything. Mm. The thing is because <laughs> we, we always want more than we should yeah. be. You know what I mean? That, should, yeah, that, that, we that, that we be, need even. That we need, yeah. Yes, but I guess I'm it is that. Like, in the sense where I'm saying, like, don't just throw the word around. It's just that people, you might, like, not have a job, right? But you, like, still drinking or whatever. But then you realize the next morning, damn, you don't have a job. But then you just throw the word and call yourself depressed. I understand that. You, are you depressed, but or are you just frustrated that you're not working mm. is it mm. depressing mm. being depressing being depressed means taking pills you get what i mean mm-hmm. it becomes like you take medication so the word and you have to be diagnosed with depression you have to like go to a therapist then they diagnose you i just feel like people are just diagnosing themselves and like i'm depressed mm. like the minor thing will happen like oh you didn't get money today like for instance if i'm not making money at the store today or whatever am i gonna say oh i'm depressed i didn't make yeah. money like you get what i mean yeah. i That's think what to, i mean like, yeah I, I i totally get you t i totally get you and i think 
uh, there was a time where I did l- sort of read up a little bit on some depression stuff, and what I did find is that there are different like levels or ca- or categories mm. of this mm. depression thing. Mm. And we, what what you are sort of making a a, a point to was um, clinical depression, which yeah. needs mm. to be diagnosed. But also when you have certain things that constantly occur like mood swings, being anxious mm. and also feeling down or feeling bleak on certain days and being suddenly happy. Mm. And then, you know, s- or, 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 or like in the next morning, uh, in the next moment, get going into a crash mm. where you just feel like everything is so bleak again. Like that is also in itself a, a level of depression. Maybe intermediate, so to speak, but it's not like a full blown um, depress- br- depression state that you know, would lead to you doing something like maybe like you know, mm. um, I suicide think, or something. I think I think that's <coughs> definitely w- like the there is levels. I think you're right. You know, yeah. there is levels to it. You know, um, I mean, I've dealt with sometimes. I wouldn't say it's it's more like very clinical, very strong depression, but like sometimes just being feeling very low. You know, yeah. I mean, or not not wanting to talk to anyone, not wanting to do yeah. anything. It's just like yeah. you just literally want to just be in bed, watch suicide the whole bloody week mm. you know what i mean don't mm. want anything and and so onwards you know so i deal a lot with that type of vibes you know, type sometimes of vibe, no. i'm just quiet you know i'm just moody i'm just not happy you know and i think it comes with life of course it comes with then also maybe needing space True. wanting space you know wanting True. time to really be able to then look into yourself and 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 feel a little bit better but i will say and you you're totally right it's the thing about levels as well because sometimes like I'm very ambitious, you know what I mean? Yeah. And sometimes when things, and it comes back to what you were saying as well, Tiny, that sometimes it feels like when I'm not doing what I've always wanted to do or not achieving my goals, yeah, it gets me low. It gets you low. You know what I mean? It, it makes you. me feel like I'm not worthy. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm like, yeah. I'm not serious like about you're a life. Failure. I'm, not, I'm a failure. And you're not you know working I mean? hard enough. Exactly. That time you're doing your, 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 your utmost best, Bro, you know? It, it's, and, and it's so unfair to yourself because exactly. at, at the end of the day, like life should not be about just work about just hustling yeah. achieving yeah. those goals you know what yeah. i mean but if a month a couple of months and i'm not achieving what i'm what i'm supposed to i beat myself up bro yeah. you know it's true. so it's 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 really sad in a way but i guess it yeah. is what yeah trying to find validation as well like in oh the God. industry mm-hmm. like <laughs> trying to find it can depress like like you're saying if you ambitious or whatever and you're working but you feel like it's taking too long I feel like that can kind of like make someone depressed. Get what I mean? Yeah, that's but true. Then it's like <clears throat> you want validation from mm-hmm. other people, which makes you even more depressed because you feel like you're not getting the Why are they not seeing me? Yes, but whereas you do what you can. But yeah, yeah. No one's recognizing it on the level that you want. Yeah. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and the, the, at, at the end of the day as well, adding to that, you know, at the end of the day, the fact of the matter is that, you know, anything that you could achieve, anything that you could have will never really make those feelings go away, you know. Yeah. I've had times where all I wanted was to be gigging, to be, you know, doing, you know, being an influencer or being, you know, a rock star. And I mean, I've done that for the past two years. I've been rocking strong. I've had, you know, there's a time I was like, yo, how dope would it be if I had like three gigs in one day? In one day. And I'm going from one gig to another, to another. you know what I mean? I'm yeah. rocking. And literally, I've gotten to that point and I would wake up the next morning and I think to myself, I'm still not I'm happy. I'm still not dog. happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, it's yeah. like, it's like, and that's even the worst of depression because yeah. then it like, when it hits you, it's like, it's like, I, I can't describe it. It's almost like, an, an emptiness an emptiness it's like w- w- there's no point bro you, you, you're, you're staring into an abyss yes, basically yes, it's yes. like yes. ah man you know I you're staring into a black hole like mm. basically suicide. yeah because i was gonna i was gonna hit on the the case yeah ricky mm-hmm. yeah. you know because uriki the week before he died mm-hmm. i literally for some reason i don't know what i was checking but then i i landed on his instagram page mm-hmm. and i was taken aback by the fact that this nigga has two million followers. Bro. It's it's mind-boggling, right? It's mind-boggling it that you're gonna look at somebody who's got two million followers and you think this guy has made it mm. in your head. Yeah. It's like mm. he's made it. He doesn't need anything else. Like you've got to be some level of genius in order to be able to amass such a following. Mm. Like people are willingly mm. following you, mm. you know. Mm. And then a week later, this nigga commits suicide. Bro, like, it's crazy. 
crazy. That that, that makes dog. you question the entire like the yeah, entire yeah, yeah. word the system. Of, dog, the whole, like yeah. what is the whole point basically? Yeah, like Nyani makes you think about it like if a person like Ricky, you look up to him. Yeah. He's happy, he's making music, like okay, when he posts, like you see him happy. But then the same person can just hang himself. It's yeah. Weird. It's crazy. It's it's real crazy. Look, crazy. I, I don't wanna lie. I mean I've I feel like, <laughs> yo, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't want to promote it, right? But like, I think we've all or most of us have gone through that stage where sometimes you feel like, you know what? Like, this is never going to end. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Me hustling is never going to end. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. when we make that million or when we make that two million or whatever and we're the biggest shit, you know, the hustle will never end in a way. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you need so to maintain. Like, exactly. So it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, Sometimes I sit back and I feel like, is this going to be my life forever? Am I going to have to be forever chasing my success and chasing the better me? You know what I mean? Yeah. And that gets to me. Sometimes I'm like, yo, fuck. The only thing, I would say the only reason I've not like committed suicide would probably be because, yeah, it's probably because I feel like for me, I'm just scared of doing it. Of doing it. You know it. what I mean? Yeah. But I've definitely thought of it, dog. I'm clean, clean. I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Be a chicken My in that one. Enough. Please. We need to <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It might close it'll to the come mouth, back please. to you. Yeah. It'll come back to but, you. But, but, yeah. Be like, a chicken like, on that one, my nigga. Yeah, like, we don't want to like, lose you yet. I, I've thought of that about it, you know, Mike. Uh-huh. We need it to be close to your, ma- your mouth, man. Anyway, mm-hmm. like I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this too. <laughs> uh, yes, in the sense where, like, you're saying you're scared, right? Mm-hmm. But think about the level of depression the people are in. Like, Imagine hanging yourself. You don't die instantly. You, mm. you first. Okay. Uh, 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 mm. yeah, like, they say you can't you help but shit yourself. Exactly. Eh? The fact that you shit. can endure so much pain, mm. you really like. Yeah, yeah. You're at that point. Live, that's eh? true. That's true. So you, you still gonna live because you're scared. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's, that's also, good. <laughs> that, that's so true because like that's it's also why, a bold thing. To yeah, do. that's why. There's that's a level why, of fucking courage in it. That's why we. That's why it's so to speak like we respect like not respect but like we honor those people that committed because you can understand that yeah. the level at which you 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 say I'm willing to deal with that pain. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm willing to like. It's like it's like yo. This is like something. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, Supernatural. And that's. No one would want to kill the, No one would want to hurt themselves. You might yeah. But not yourself. But not God. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you that, don't, you that, don't that, just that. willingly want to inflict any sort of harm or pain to yeah. yourself. Yeah. It yeah. really takes a level of like a the reverse psyche exactly. of some sort. Thing, I That's why it. the mind is so crazy, dangerous though. as well, though. The it's mind, extremely the dangerous. The mind is the most dangerous thing in the world. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it can literally trick you into doing things that you know are not right. You know you don't want to do, but your mind convinces convinces you, you that this is what you should be. You doing. know what I mean? The mind itself, it's like an organ on itself and it, it does need a lot of training. It needs you to always try to be in control of it of rather it. than it being in control of, of you. you. You know it's what true. I mean? That's why people like very successful people always tell you like, yo, it's all in the mind. You know what I mean? The body, for instance, can it's ready and it's willing to take all the pain that it can take, you know? But it's the mind that tells you, yo, I've, 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 I've been, you know, like when you're exercising, I've jogged 2K, I'm tired now, I'm not go home. You know what I mean? But if you if you train your mind, you train now, nah, you can do more. I can do more. You know what I mean? You'll end up doing five k. You know true. what I mean? So the mind, the mind is is one of the most dangerous things that you know. I mean, let's be honest. If you think about it, our um, our fantasies, right? Mm. Our fantasies as well. You know, all all these things that are in they're all in our head. You know, yeah. It, it's us controlling ourselves to say. Going back to like GBV and whatnot. You know what I mean? It's us in our mind. Having to control herself to say it's wrong if I would slap that girl's ass. Sure. You know what I mean, just because my mind would love, would love would enjoy yeah, the sensation to, to of grab, doing something you know like I mean? that. Yeah. Our mind. Yeah, our your mind. mind you really mind exactly. Like, Yo, yeah. Do it. Yeah, it happens, amazing. dog. Yeah, really. Because you, know you mean? pass by like somebody with a tight dress on or something. The first thing you think is like, grab it. You know, type of thing. Yeah. But uh, but like you know that that's not what you should yeah. be doing. Yeah. Ah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> A the, clean boy. The mind, dangerous dog. Dangerous the mind, dog. Dangerous dog. You fucking know I mean? dangerous. So good point. <laughs> <laughs> no valid point. Control yourself, because some people will touch that ass. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's the mind. 
it's in the mind again. Untrained minds. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. And that's that's good enough. Like then you've changed your mind to a point where okay, you can tell wrong from right. True. Mm -hmm. I feel like some people like forget, okay, yes, anyone would want to touch a Buddha's body, but are you allowed to? Mm. Mm. And and even not even not even a being uh, allowed to is 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 it a is it a nice thing to do? And it's you know, you yeah. I mean you're invading I, someone's sp space. I, I think what's crazy as well with with that is yeah. that you know sometimes we, we 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 always perceive it as like obviously a man doing it to a woman, but in certain instances even when like a woman does, a it, woman to a does it to you or or a woman's being aggressively wanting you. Yeah. Have you have you noticed how uncomfortable I've, that I've, shit is? Yeah, I've had that. I've that shit sometimes uncomfortable. uncomfortable yeah. You know what I mean? It's very and I swear to you, if 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 you are in a club and you're partying and doing your shit and you just feel someone touching your butt and like caressing your butt as a man you'd get angry yeah true even yeah, if true. it's a woman you'd yeah. be like you, your first instinct would be like no what are like, you doing no, what you are you doing? doing like and then maybe because maybe she might be hot and maybe she's like, cute then you you will consider yeah, it you know I but mean, your first instinct that like, double no. standard yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. You true. know, it's true. true. It's true. that type of thing. Though. So yeah, so like the, the 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 mind, like we're saying, you know, the mind is very dangerous. You know, um, it can really it can really be damaging to a person. You know, um, or it can be uplifting. Or it can but be it's uplifting. all about training. It. It's all about training. It's all about it, you know training. I mean? it. It's all about training it. And really, I think I think there's a lot about the world we don't know. You know, yeah, there's a lot about the definitely. world that we still keep definitely. trying to figure out. Definitely. You know what I mean? We 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 don't know what we're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and you know what's crazy? <laughs> For me, you know what's crazy? What's crazy is like the people we think know like have figured out life, which usually is our parents, ah Oi. Ah, Oi. Ah, ah, Oi. Ah, ah. <laughs> the last people dog to figure out to know what the fuck's going on, dog. They're not even anywhere close. Bro. You know? You know. It's it's real crazy. And sometimes it can be sad. Mm. And I, I I say this with like in, in in no way in a disrespectful form or manner but mm. there, there there was a time where like i had i had a deep sigh of not regret or but but like a deep sigh of disbelief sort of so to speak ne, that i had the rea realization that actually my parents are not as smart as i actually thought they are <laughs> and this was not to say no i'm serious and this was not to say they didn't do a great job here i am i'm doing the things i do i owe everything to them yeah, yeah. but it was just the, the simple <laughs> realization of actually yeah y'all did great but y'all not as smart as i thought y'all are yeah, you know yeah you realize that it's good because now you understand okay like how to deal with situations yeah with, with mother, that it's true how to approach them yeah. <laughs> it's for editing dog it's when we oh, but leave no. the fuck the iphone dog you know when we're gonna edit this thing can you even hear me from there? nah dog that's the guys, thing guys dog. let's that's go let's thing. go but let's yeah. go <laughs> She's putting it down again, dog. Don't put down the I phone, tiny. Do it. I'm not close. Okay, it's fine. I'm okay, it's fine. Yeah, she's okay, she's fine. good, it's man. Fine. It's fine. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay, cool. Look, what, what, what? It, going back to your point as well. She, she remembers. Then she'll come back into it. You know, um, that like that realization is one of the most craziest realization ever. And and I think you only realize it as well the older you get because. Yeah. The older you get, other people think that you've got it under control as well. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Kanti, no. You Kanti, know what? I mean? Kanti, no. You yeah, know? When? Like when? That <laughs> like that conversation you had with, I don't know, you said your cousin, your whatnot, cousin's boyfriend or something. Oh, about yeah, the yeah, yeah, about the podcast. You know what I mean? It's like, you, you, you start to realize that, okay, and like, my parents ain't shit. <laughs> you know I mean? they shit, you know they, they they're good humans they've got good morals you know what i mean they want the best for me they want the best for themselves as yeah well. and, and they the continue community. to strive for yes, it yes yeah. you know what i mean um but the only thing that they've got that they that they were able to get right is that they kept going yeah. sure they kept trying you sure. know what i mean and they keep start they keep doing that you know yeah. but in realization ah dog they don't know what's going on dog <laughs> they're just as confused as we are <laughs> 
<laughs> they're flowing, dog, and, and, you know? and sometimes it's so sad because they've given in to the ways of the world. Yeah. So now they literally stuck in the rat race uh. where they basically, you know, when you come when you come onto information very late or you come onto some sort of realization very late in your life, mm. now you're scrambling to get your your, your things in order mm. and everything. Which, which which reminds me of the conversation I had with my Uber driver on Friday mm. that you'll see. It, like some of the taxi drivers he was saying you look at those guys like they 40 45 50 and so forth and he's still driving a taxi and you're thinking to yourself my guy what were you doing in your 20s and 30s do you get yeah, me yeah, yeah. that type of thing you know because it's like you, you didn't use your time valuably or at that point you were stuck in 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 in, in, in doing things a certain way that mm. you didn't realize that there actually were options to this life and sometimes it's either your own doing or maybe because of you yeah. you know your your, your circumstances mm-hmm. yeah, which in, in most that. cases in you know with our race it's usually the circumstances that mm-hmm. that put them there but you know a lot of people have alleviated themselves out of that so you do know that it's a possible thing mm. you know mm. which just begs the question of how much somebody wanted it at the same I think time. I think with that the, the other thing and this is the one of the most dangerous things is that yeah sometimes we get comfortable True. you know what I mean mm-hmm. and that's what happens with that you know you start a project you know in the beginning of the year and it's 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 hard in the beginning of course like most things are but then by the end of the by the end of the year you've done a lot of strive you've, you've done a lot of work that you've been able to do and then you say no let me do another year of just doing this don't mm. because what you're going to do is that you're going to wake up one day and it's going to be five years later and you're still a kachi mm. you know what i mean mm. and 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 that's the issue is that we get comfortable in doing the same thing over and over, over and over you know yeah I mean? It, it, it's tricky though because also then do come the question of consistency yeah. mm. right? which puts us back to our point of having to consistently work <laughs> <laughs> and going crazy pushing yeah. the envelope <laughs> <laughs> Go from a gadget to driving the car, you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Don't be the door operator. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, move up. Like, don't be all the time opening the doors for people, but then now you see the driver, now the driver gets into like an accident or whatever, and you can't even drive the car. Like, mm, what, mm, what mm, are mm, you mm. there for? Are you even learning from your circumstances? Are you even yeah. trying to I like, learn? I like your example, Ned, because it really speaks to a Cape Town originator. Shout out to Vincent. I actually met him last night at Souk. Okay, um, okay. Yeah, I hadn't seen him in a while. You know, the he, DJ. yes, yeah. DJ and a businessman. Like he has that story. He he started out as a taxi conductor, yeah. a, a gachi, you okay, know. Okay. And he he hustled, put together his money. He made his way. He loved music. Mm-hmm. He started DJing. He put together his ideas and concepts. He got in contact with the right people. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, shadowed the right people mm. also at the same time mm. and basically he's the guy that he is now and like for me like i major respect for uh, servants you know yeah, he's yeah. really a cape town originator yeah you yeah. know him along with uh, uh, lloyd, lloyd and yeah. their company Kappa Live. i mean those guys i remember for me it was solidified a long time ago even when they did um ikasi experience you know mm. which was one of the most inclusive and sort of really educational sort of concepts and events that occurred in the hood and that sort of just sold the hood to Cape Town and the world mm-hmm. as at large, you know. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you look at people like that that were, that were able to alleviate themselves yeah. mm-hmm. out of a situation like that, mm-hmm. you know. You you can tell that it's a possible thing. Because there's mm-hmm. no reason, like... Because, I mean, like, the person that's a gachi <coughs> is trying to do something, is trying to, like, create a living for themselves. But I will not cheat that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sipo, why are you staring? Look at him. He's peeping through the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, that's totally. I like. I like the conversation that you brought up with Vincent. You know. Yeah, wait. Oh, wait. If you can, pour him some juice as well. Yeah? Oh yes, please, please, buddy, please, buddy. Hey, Sipo, what's up, bro? Come inside, Baba. Come inside. Have hey, you we are on set. Part. Yo, you got forest. Hey, hey what's up, you? good? run, man, run. <laughs> We're doing good. We're doing good, man. Nice to see you. Yeah, no, we're about that. Right, sweet. Okay, for sure, gents. for sure, gents. So, with that conversation, I like, I like, I like with that, that you brought it up or you made that example because oh, yeah. that's truly what that's truly what I would, I would like to think or like to say is that it's the idea. You know, the idea is that. You gotta just keep trying bit by bit. Mm, you know what I mean? For like, sure. like, like we we can even make an example about this podcast. You know, 
for me thank you thank you very much thanks thanks for thanks, me Jay. for me the, the idea the <laughs> idea when we do stuff like this like a podcast or whatnot or collab doing the store it's sometimes it's not so much that in the next five years you're going to stop you're going to be still doing collab 22 or you're still going to be doing um it could have been a bride for sure but it's it's a project that you do that foundation. it will foundation that will lead you to the next big thing you for know what sure. i mean to the next project you know for sure. you build up the network yeah. while we're doing this you know what i mean oh, yeah. i mean you think about what well, and whatnot you know this is the network that we've had now we collect to we have special relationships for sure you know what i That's mean true but if you don't do those projects, if you don't become a gachi from a gachi, you know, yeah. you become the taxi driver, yeah. you know. You become your own. You, you know become your I own mean? nine, build yourself you up. Know, no, that's next true, thing man. you know, that's you true. leave that one, now you start doing events, but you've made connections with taxi drivers, so now you know. To people, if yeah. people you to need your, that, it's you've like got a network. It's a, you know what I mean? And it needs a mind, my child. It needs a mind, <laughs> dog. And then you end up being depressed because you want too much. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that that speaks <laughs> to having good support systems too, man. You know, in the form of uh, the, the, the the company you keep, your partner, um, if, if your parents are there with you also, family yeah. members, you know, your partner, friends, everything, man. Mm. And, and the people that you just surround yourself with. It really speaks to having that good support system. Otherwise, mm. you can really reach it. But you, you always you, need a support system. Why are you speaking about this? Because these are like, these are, by the way, like perfect conversations for podcasts. Because like podcasts, sometimes they're very motivational. And they speak about like real Abstract issues, you know uh, I mean? issues yeah. that uh, we deal with. What you know? do you think then about, about fear? Fear. Yeah, like fear in, in, in achieving or in starting new stuff. Like, what do you think of that? Because that's sometimes the challenge that we go through, right? The challenge of having, especially if you want to be like an entrepreneur, which meaning, and you don't want to be comfortable, you're always going to have to put yourself on the edge in terms yeah. of starting new shit. You know what I mean? Sure. And for me, I don't want to lie to you guys, there's nothing more afraid than starting new shit. Yeah. Mm. Firstly, mm. because whatever you're starting, you don't know how to do it true you know you what i mean need to learn don't know how you have to end up you know exactly you know you know when it fails you're scared that people will look at you like a failure yeah you know what i mean for me that shit haunts me dog like every mm. time i want to do something it's like people are gonna and i know <coughs> fuck people right but it still affects you you know what i mean yeah. because it's like when it fails how are these people gonna look at me you know what i mean because i want to be successful you know but that's the thing like are you doing i understand you have fuck people or whatever but are you doing it for the validation from other people about okay wahoo tai is doing this mm-hmm. or are you doing it for yourself because it could be like you can start anything and you will fail but it's just about carrying on and not those people aren't doing anything you get what i mean most of the time those people are not doing anything they ain't got shit to do with their lives now they're thinking oh hi oh Mieke, he's gonna start this oh hi who's a failure like for me, it's like people are gonna keep talking. Yeah, fuck yeah. People, but who are you doing it for? for Noah and the Ark, bro. Noah and the Ark, bro. Yeah. I don't know if you read yeah. the Bible or yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Noah and the Ark, bro, yeah. always reference that story. All man. I, all I they kept on talking for a hundred years, yeah. dog. You all, know? All I know about <laughs> all, 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 all I know about that story <laughs> was that, you know, everybody spoke shit about him. It was like he was the craziest man. When the water hit, the guys outside was like, hi, Bo, no, Joe. <laughs> 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 uh, and, and, that's, and that's really something that, that, that a lot of people speak about. Um, I want to make a reference of Zuchi Coke, Dope, um, mm. on the song. There's a song I love um, that he did with Aries. It's called Seven Days After. Mm-hmm. And he, he says, I think in the lyrics of that song, it's like, I always knew that I would make it. I had a dream and then I chased it. Now my name in conversations. Please don't fake my dedication. Um, something, something. But he basically is just saying that he came out of nowhere ne? and people now validate him and they yeah. say all these things like, where were you when I was hustling? Exactly. And like I was, you know, mm-hmm. and you, you can't help but feel like that. And it speaks to that whole notion or that difference of Noah and the Ark because you'll tell people like, so I want to do this and they don't see it with you. Or because like I was saying, for, for you to execute your vision. For example, we can all sit here today. It's because you had an idea of, like I want to do a podcast. And luckily, by God's grace, you know, we were able to meet and we were on the same path, so to speak. But you were ready, you know, and we just took off and we did this thing. So now, we are your team and your support system to keep doing ah, this thing. We, okay. we understand ah, now when I'm okay, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. we... But they 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, and ha- we start with other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know, they're not, they're yeah, not yeah. but and not 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 in a sour manner even. Yeah, but yeah. it's always just about the vision, yeah. though. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Do now because I get your point of the support structure. You know what I mean? And I think that's a great thing about building teams. For me, one thing I've realized about business is that you need to build some form of a team. You know, for sure. Even even if it's like two people or just you and another person, it helps in the sense that with what you're saying with the support structure. Like when we went to Yobo, you know oh, what I yeah. mean? And Yobo was a big thing for us. Cause look, for sure. Firstly, we're getting out of the comfort zone of Collab 22, right? Going to a different venue, we're shooting there. But somehow, I was not afraid. Yeah. You know what I mean? And mainly because I knew that you know we have the team. Yes, yeah. you know what I mean? We have the team. It knows what it's doing. We've done it before, you know what I mean? So it's like having that, as you're saying, that support structure, you are able to say... When you get there, you're not you're not gonna be the only one there. You know what exactly. I mean? Doing a podcast alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every time you go to the camera, you make sure. You know what I mean? You know. You, you know. <laughs> It's too much. Yeah. yeah. And that's, you know when you yeah. that's when you implode. Yeah. <laughs> that's when you implode, dog. <laughs> how 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 do we dog. deal or how should we deal with fear though, guys? I was like, gonna say, into that. Like, how fear, fear, fear and love. Uh, uh, there's something that says fear and love read like closely together. You know, in terms of um, the, the the emotion that they invoke in one, and it's it's always a thing of being able to like push yourself to overcome fear like fear is good to an extent where you can use it to be to be courageous Mm -hmm. because anything you're fearful of means it's something that you need to overcome and if you put your mind to it back to you Mm -hmm. know it's all in the mind Mm -hmm. you can overcome that thing so it's really about you should love yourself enough to be courageous to overcome that fear mm. some sort of thing you yeah know? i feel you like sounds so like philosophical there yes. yeah. hey sure <laughs> mechanics mechanics, mechanics. <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> it's like with like in relationships like you like some people will stick into in relationships even though they like in crappy relationships because they scared to like because they're already comfortable mm. true so you know what i mean now they're scared to like go find love somewhere else whereas once you actually like you say love yourself enough to leave that situation and go do it, you'll probably find something different. Do you get what I mean? And like something that you can mm. live do you, with. Do you think then it's a it's a it's a matter of because with what you're saying, um, I feel like sometimes with fear, the best way to maybe deal with it is that you need to keep putting yourself on the edge. Yeah. Right? Mm. Because then you get used to it. You get sort of comfortable with always being that guy that people say, hello, <laughs> it's always, yes. it's always him and his <laughs> concepts that don't work. You know what I mean? Like, yes. You know, he's always losing <laughs> man, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's starting again now. You know what I mean? With another idea. You know what I mean? So yeah. once once you get into that, I feel like maybe that might be the, the, the crack of it is that once you get to that point where it's like, you just have to keep challenging yourself, like you know, bit by bit. Go mm, to like, mm, yeah, like mm, Table mm. Mountain. For sure. Like, for sure. Like, Sky Diving. <laughs> 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 he sounds like he's scared of heights. <laughs> That's always. Yeah. I used to do skydiving. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, what it, you know what it's reminding me of. It's reminding me of. I know if you see this this video on 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 IG of the guy he went skydiving and he keeps saying, "Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. They're gonna push him off." <laughs> but that's the most scariest. That's the most crazy thing. Like like heights, guys. I have this friend of mine, yeah, from Joburg, mm. called Sam. Shout out Sam. You know, Samora. Sam is one of those guys, like your guy's guy, you know what I mean? He'll get all the nicest honeys, you know what I mean? He's, he's always fresh, he, he clicks in any type of circles that, yeah. you know what I mean? He's so that sure. guy, you know what I mean? Like a trendy, so, you know, <laughs> that, yeah, that guy, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> he's just one of those guys, it's like your, your guy's guy, you know? And, and the day I realized that we all have some type of fear was with him. We were on the rooftop. It's still varsity days. We had uh, at like the top of the of, of the building, mm. and we're chilling there. And we have to go. There was another side that we wanted to go to, but we have to go down the stairs, you know. And the stairs are basically steep. narrow. They steep. They narrow as fuck, you know. And he was there. He stood there for a second, shaking. You know what I mean? And I'm like, Yo, dog, let's go down. What's going on? <laughs> 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 My guy. 
bro, my guy couldn't even speak. Oh, he was just like, oh, yeah, hold, on, hold on, hold on. And then he went down. He didn't tell me. So yeah. now I'm wondering what the fuck's going on. And then once we got down to where we were supposed to sit down, he looks at me and he whispers because we with other people. He's like, yo, dog, I'm actually afraid of height. <laughs> <laughs> it was the craziest thing, my G. You know what I mean? What are you afraid of? Like, yeah, like height or anything? Like, for me. For me, dog, it's just I, th- I think it's it's, it's the, the 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 fear of failing, you know. And the fear of failing, it's like in 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 a lot of times in the projects that I do or things that I want to yeah. do, you know what I mean. I think it's also connected to the fact that I think I'm the shit somehow, and <laughs> sometimes sometimes people you also think. Too much of yourself. That's yeah, what you yeah, yeah, yeah. That's conceited. That's what the fuck? Conceited. What the fuck? <laughs> nah, nah. That's, that's, that's sounded that sounded like a statement. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a high level of confidence, but also sometimes I feel that I've realized sometimes that people also sometimes think the shit about me. Sometimes, you know, people think, oh, hotel, no, you see, you know, and dog, like, half of the shit I'm doing is like, I'm, the, I'm just zammering, you know, <laughs> half of them are failing, you know what I mean? It's like, so it's like, I, my fear, my biggest fear is really just that, it's just failing, you know, like doing okay. an event and 20 people come, it's like, fuck, you, you know what I mean? So it's th- that's the thing for me. Nah, but, but like uh, to, to just to give you a bit of motivation there, like I, I've been in that place where you we spent twenty five k on an event, and yeah. all the people that came were just the artists. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So yeah. like that that's that's a learning. Listen, curve. listen to Agba saying shit, damn it. <laughs> yeah, because they 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 so they sell out concerts. They sell out all the time. So like, you know, <laughs> you don't, don't understand. They the don't understand, <laughs> dog. But that shit happens, and it was a learning curve. You know. But for me, Tiny, I think I think I must say I, I actually share that fear with the hotel. I do have that fear consistently. And that's also perhaps I think for me it stems from um um you know, growing up, ne? It was mainly me and my mom most of the time. So I had to grasp a lot of stuff very quickly and become sort of independent, so to speak. Yeah. So I don't know if I don't think my mom was doing this intentionally or what, but she was always pushing me to be best you yeah. know like hey you can you can do better than that like you you know all type of thing so i always thought of myself as that guy who had to do the best yeah. and one day i have the responsibility of sort of taking care of her and my family and yeah. I, as a person i've noticed also and i've accepted this about myself that i'm actually i'm much more of a giver than a taker you know so if i have a lot i'll probably give everybody yeah okay, so yeah. i'm like that for my family so i have a fear of failing and not being able to fulfill those things all right we are told, yeah. you hey, i don't know to be honest because i'm not like because you've wanted everything you've done eh? no <laughs> the thing is i'm not afraid of failing because i've failed before like in high school so okay. for me it's like well, I felt because I was very naughty and shit like that, would bang all that. I really? was boarding school, yeah. Mm. But for me, like, failing <laughs> is not so much of a, of a problem to me. I don't know what I'm afraid of. Yes, maybe. Mm. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Cause I don't, I don't mind failing at riding a bicycle. Like fuck yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. Who, who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. who gives a shit? <laughs> but like certain things, like failing at certain things specifically, okay, like okay, maybe I'm, I'm scared of not. I've said like the time I'm, coming, I'm scared of not having a certain money in my account when I'm at a certain age. Where like when I reach thirty, I feel like that's I'm. Oh yes, I'm afraid of growing up, like getting older. Oh, fear, fear fear of growing up. Yeah, I think that's a common fear, though. Yeah, Yeah. that's a very common fear. Making sure, okay, by the age of 30, I'm where I want to be. You know what I mean? So, that's one of the things. I'm not saying that's failure, but I just don't want to see myself in the same place. Yeah. No, that's really good. Because I, I, for example, had that same vision for myself yeah at like age 23 or something yeah i'm 31 now <laughs> <laughs> are you still here boy <laughs> you know but i take solace in other things that i've achieved yeah, yeah i'm told yeah, 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 yeah you know I've, that, I've experienced yeah. i've been through stuff everything and i know for a fact i'm doing better than some of the year old <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm told yeah. type of thing but yeah i think it's also putting the pressure on myself and that maybe 
maybe that mindset or that sentiment might be a bad way to alleviate the stress on me because maybe in some way it makes me look down on them but not that I am but yeah. it just it's a reminder for me also to, to know that except it's not the end of the world yeah mm-hmm. 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 You know? mm-hmm. so that's it yeah look I think I think to be honest I, I wanted to touch on that topic you spoke about or that you sort of raised right now about like family right and oh, yeah. and and having getting that pressure or well, not that pressure but feeling like you definitely want to black tax it's like tax you need to help <laughs> them out you, mean, you know what i mean in one way or the other yeah. you know I, th- I feel like how how do you guys like view in terms of dealing with that you know like what's the what's the level where we can like draw a line to say yo this is actually too much or this is too little you know what i mean mm. yeah like what what's the line for you guys what do you feel the line is? No, I think the, the, the most important thing that needs to happen is you need to establish those ground rules at some point mm-hmm. with your your parents or, you know, your guardians, whatever the case is, um, to say that, look, obviously you want the best for them. You want to do as much as you can for them, given that they've done a lot for you mm-hmm. also, you know, to bring, to raise you, to clothe you, all the things that they did for you. But... It, it, whatever that they that they now expect from you, ne, since you are now an adult that can fend for themselves, should never be something that also puts you in a predicament. I feel like that's where the line should be drawn. Anything that they now ask of you that puts you in a predicament is actually crossing the line. And if you choose to maybe cross that line for them, I think they need to acknowledge that. And also help you come back, you understand, to where you don't were. you guys don't you guys feel like though like 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 yo like how do I say this? <laughs> how do you like okay black like don't you feel like sometimes they ask for too much that you can't provide? Yeah, I felt yeah. like that. You I know what I mean? Like that with well, my parents. For me, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I because. I, I mean, we don't all experience yes, it. Yes, besides, we don't all experience it. And on different it. levels as well. Like, yeah. My, mm-hmm. I've, I've experienced it secondhand, like through my mother. Because my mother's like one of six children, but she's the only one that's actually like doing shit for herself. Even from my dad's side, he's like from six like siblings or whatever, but he's the only one that like does shit. So. Mm-hmm. For me, necessarily, I haven't experienced it, but I've experienced it secondhand through, through seeing them. how my parents have mm. to deal with it, having to like make sure like my cousins are eating, they have Christmas clothes, they have whatever, even mm. if they do shitty stuff, mm-hmm. they sell things at like my grandma's house or whatever. But she still has to be the older mm. one, yeah, mm. a guardian to them. Yeah. Yes, you get what I mean. Mm. So. For me, it's like, I guess it's a it's a curse and a blessing to a extent because not everyone in your family can do shit for themselves. Yeah. But if you're there and you are open-minded enough, just help. You just know help. What I mean? like, yeah. Just get into their head and let them know about, okay, this and this and this, but if you need help, I will help. I will help. Yeah, I mean? that's true. I think, I think fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I'm playing. Now nah, I'm playing. Now nah, I'm playing. I mean, look, it's it's a definitely like a what is it like a catch twenty two, right? It's catch like twenty two. Yeah, it's like you can't win, you you can't oh, lose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like so it's like there's no middle ground with it. You know what True. I mean? Because at the end of the day, I mean, even when you look at it, um, because a lot of things that we do, I think for me it's this thing. It's like this. This is what I don't like about it. Right? Is the fact that. Some of the things that we do, like starting this it's podcast, like obligated, like obligated. Not even that. Not even that. Like sometimes I feel like, even like doing stuff like this, like the podcast, you guys will collab, street workers. Like sometimes they don't understand that we are investing our time and money and whatever mm. in li- li- this little projects that we believe will be what will be actually be able to assist you guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? In the mm. future, in a bigger way than us just sticking to our nine to fives. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, for me, I, 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 I struggle with that factor that with them not being able to understand sometimes that we want to help, but me sending back a little bit of money every month is not going to help you guys as much as if this podcast pops. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I'll, I'll be able to say maybe 50,000, you know what I mean? 100,000, you know what I mean? And say, yo, handle whatever you need to handle. You know, let me go back and hustle more. You know what I mean? I feel and you. a lot of the times, they don't you. understand that shit. A lot of times they're just like, yo, you know, whatever you have, let's let's, let's eat ha- that. Let's have that. Yeah. Let's have that. You yeah. Know? Let's have that. 
bro. You know I, what I mean? I, I always yeah, when when you speak, I yeah, wanna like when you make the 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 the, the, the case that you make, ne? Mm-hmm. I always go back. I, I don't know for, for the life of me, but whenever I have this sort of conversation, I always go back to a statement Earn made uh, Donald Clover in mm. in in uh, Atlanta mm. yeah. season one. This, this, this episode, this, this, episode this is, three. This is one uh, of his favorite this conversations. This is one of my best. When it comes to Atlanta, <laughs> I tell you, and top boy, I tell you, I tell you, boy. <laughs> I, tell you. Okay, I learned so much from those series, dog, yeah. especially Atlanta. Like he, he says there, dog, because there's there's an episode where um, Earn basically uh, needs cash, mm-hmm. but then he wants to, he he Adarius says he'll trade. Um, he, he, you know, he asks him, "Do you want the money to take, or do you want more money?" Yes, yeah, it's, it's right? like you can, you can, you can give a man a fish, but you need to like teach him how to fish for himself or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's this thing. Like <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Say, oh no, say, say that again. <laughs> You can fish, but you cannot uh, teach yeah. a fish no. to fish. You can, can give a man a fish, but it's not the same as teaching <laughs> him how to fish. Yes. I want to say it. I want to stumble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, getting yeah, to yeah. is that this guy asked him... Yeah, and a man <laughs> and a daughter went to, into, a, into a forest. Did you see that shit? <laughs> So what happens is they go they go into a store because he wants to trade his phone mm-hmm. right to get some cash mm-hmm. and then he asks him yo do you want the money to take or do you want the money or do you want more money mm-hmm. and then he says he wants more money of mm-hmm. course and then okay he says okay cool let's trade up this phone for something else for the samurai sword mm-hmm. right trades up the phone for the samurai sword they go to a samurai to some Korean guy mm-hmm. and um, he trades up the sword for a dog mm-hmm. and then he goes to another guy that uh, breeds the dog to get trades the dog for, for the dog to breed mm-hmm. and then he's gonna get about eight puppies and then from at eight puppies he's basically gonna make about eight thousand mm. dollars mm. <clears throat> and this is all from basically just having a phone mm. so Darius is like the smart one in this case who knows how to invest in a yeah. sort of very hoodlum way right mm. To, mm. to to be able to compound that money yeah, like that yeah. but he needed the money today because he actually needed to pay for his daughter's crash something or yeah. something, right? And I think it was crash Charles. I can't remember what it is, but he had, to, he had to pay something for his daughter. And he's telling him that I'm poor. I don't have time to think, <laughs> for, to think about investments. I need the money now nah. because I need to eat when? Now. <laughs> and that's what our parents are going to eat. <laughs> 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 That's why it's so okay, hard so to be able to build anything in yeah. poverty. Yeah, yeah. Inside poverty, that's Ooh. why everything just falls. I'm so, I swear no. to God. Okay. Just like mechanic. Mechanic. Job, dog. That's and dope and really, that's dope that's dope yeah. it's very hard. And Shit. that's why, like, most of the time, you'll find that whoever really does make it, like, from like a township, like, or maybe like a really, really rough hood, and, and you know that it's a really impoverished area, mm-hmm. most of the time, those people are really strong mentally and they actually yeah. go far. Like, for me, Mm. I love because they're like, able to wait and they, not say you know they're able to go through the the, the, the poverty the but poverty, know that but know that trading insane. up yeah, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. people like Kaz for example mm. you know Kaz didn't mm. really come come up as a rich guy yes he, his, his his parents were teachers but he wasn't rich yeah, yeah. and they maybe lived in some impoverished impoverished parts of the world you know to yeah. an extent you look at like I love a kid like Maclera Doughboy for example he comes from the grimy grimy hood in mm-hmm. Botch you know and that mm-hmm. and he's he's out there and the way he grew up amongst gangsterism and poverty and all of the stuff that happens there and you look at him and you see the way that he conducts himself basically mm-hmm. like I, I look up to a nigga like that and that's mm-hmm. why I say it's very hard to build anything within poverty but when it does happen it's mm-hmm. really beautiful to see mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. look that's that, that's an amazing point that you made and it's and it's the correct one because it's <laughs> like um hey now me draw a cowbell up and give it to uh, give it to you together so it's like what you're saying and and it's it's totally true I guess that's the catch twenty two is like yo do you wanna do you wanna eat do you, do you rather wanna eat um pop right now right but know that in the next five years you could be eating a pizza oh, yeah. or do you wanna eat pizza right now but just eat pizza for the next five years only until you die yeah you know what i mean because yeah that, that's basically what it is and it happens even with a lot of us as young people you know when when, when we get good jobs you know what i mean we start popping bottles yeah. start dating the hardest chicks you know start buying a car whatever like the you've case arrived may be. you feel like you've arrived like you've made it but in reality you haven't because 
the success is is you keeping building yeah. on what you sort of have you know what i mean keeping they always say this like spend your there you go. spend your they say they say what you have to do is that in terms for instance your salary right um you fuck i forgot what it is but it's like you 10% yeah like 10% basic like you, told me that yeah, you, well, you, yeah you 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 enjoy 10% of it right mm-hmm. the rest is either investment or you're keeping it or you're saving it you know don't don't Won't go out there that 10% like it's got like like it's a church thing as well like mm. giving 10 it's like if, if people could actually just take that thing that people talk about in church give out your 10th give out your 10th just you don't even have to give it out in that church but in jay in general like yourself just keep like yes get your salary or whatever but try to keep like 10 percent of that mm. salary mm. and if you do that all the time you're gonna see a i think I, th- I think that's a conversations we need to have as 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 young people to say you know as young people or in our communities as well with our yeah. parents to say guys they need to understand that 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 that, that atlanta scenario to say guys you know it's it's yeah. it's it, it, it's up it's either about eating now or eating for the next 10 years yeah you know what i mean and when you when you do something it's all about that is that it's like the the other example is that even in music right in the creative arts and whatnot you know what i mean they'll say for instance like you have a song or whatever or you're an actor right they'll say okay do you want we can give you a million for the part that you did you know what i mean and you for take sure. that million and you could you're like i know I'm fresh. I'm living with that. You know what I mean? For sure. As opposed to maybe them giving you those rights to the your song rights to the or song or rights to the. Yeah. There was a perfect example with a guy that did that did um, that was part of Lion King. He acted oh, yeah. in Lion King. He sang a specific song in Lion King, and Lion King was was ready to provide him with I think two hundred thousand or no not uh, around a million okay. at that time. Yes, around a million dollars, right? And they were happy. The family was happy and whatnot. You know. And then he declined. After they did that, what happened is that the the mother was then surprised. Was like, hold up, if they're willing to give us this so much money, that means this thing is it's actually is, worth is worthy of maybe more. more you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So then they went back and they're like, is there another deal we can make besides taking the money? Then they were like, okay, we can give you a percentage of it, but then we maybe gonna give you maybe a hundred thousand. And they gave him a hundred thousand, and they didn't give them the million. But the amount of money that they've made from then from the rights throughout and the royalties the rights throughout the years, ranking, yo, that they're still getting now, you know what I mean? Was like a was like a chess move, you know. Oh, wait, Most of us play checkers, you dog. Really yeah, dog. Song with um, what's that lady? Yeah, that lady, that, that song you played. Yes, Tony Braxton. Tony Braxton. Huh? Right to the song, right? Which song is this? Um, um, Last Love. He Lost Lost. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. So he only, he's only like getting like forty percent from the actual song. Last Last is that Burner Boy track, yes, no? Oh, the one. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, the top and then the the Oh, that's the sample. Oh, shit. Burner's a G, dog. Yeah, that that actually the beat now actually as you yeah. mentioned I can hear it mm. from the the the, the actual track yeah, yeah. Tony Braxton. So that's good. that's what they were talking about. And I feel like most companies or like music um labels they don't even have conversations like that with with the artists because i mean like you're hungry you're coming from like poverty right yeah you sing you sing this country you sing this you country sing you just from the site you're not thinking about but, like mm-hmm. where's think, the mic tank it's right there oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> i thought you forgot it over there <laughs> <laughs> all right sure <laughs> sure so anyway, But now, like you said, like his mother was so smart enough, or like he got advice from someone else saying, if Kunje Nanje, then there must be a catch. And then they got into of money masters that of money copyrights. Look now. Look, Look now. Tony Braxton hasn't dropped in so long. Now she's eating on last. She's last eating on last last in JEs. But so that's that's the difficult thing, and that's the thing you with remember? artists, right? Who owns my masters? Huh? You remember that conversation? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, another, another, Atlanta, <laughs> another, another Atlanta story. <laughs> <laughs> but that's 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 the conversation. That's what's so. I think. Look, I think it's a hard thing to do. You know what I mean? I mean, don't forget. We you know when a, when, a, when a label signs you as an artist, right? They give you majority of the time. They give you an advance. Right? Away, away. Let's say they sign us, for instance, right? Someone comes and wants to sign us, right? As a podcast, 
Firstly, we broke. Hey, we are hungry, guys. <laughs> we are hungry. Imagine a business person coming through and say, okay, I'm going to give you guys close to half a million, 500,000. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm going to own the product. I'm going to own it, though. You know what I mean? And then, obviously, there's going to be salary as well included. They're covering all the other stuff in terms of traveling. They have the, all the connects. We're going to shoot wherever we want to shoot. You know what I mean? So, as an artist, sometimes it's hard, or I guess people are different in terms of knowing what to do or, or what to choose or what not to choose you know what i mean because as a hungry artist you've been doing this for 10 years doc you're not popping i come there and give you a hand as an advance as an advance you know what i mean yeah sometimes people are not willing to say okay it's fine you know what i mean because don't forget you know a perfect story to tell about how it's hard to make it the long game it's shade i know shade the singer uh-huh the, she never her and the band never sold the rights of the music so when they started, they never took an advance, for instance. Oh, okay. There was points where they were the biggest stars in the world, but they were broke. Yo. She was going to she was going to award shows and they were winning the awards, but she was broke. She was dating this guy. They couldn't even they didn't even have food at the at the at the home. They were, they were even saying it in the in the in the what's this, in the in the interview that it's it's great, you know, we, we love what what's going on, people are loving us, but we are actually broke. We don't have money. You know what I mean? Because they didn't take an advance, you know? It was only later on when really they started popping, when people really want going to the concerts and so on. Yeah. And they started making a little bit yeah. of good money. And more Until now, were coming. Exactly. Yeah. Now, they are now, obviously, Shade is good for life now. That's why oh, she, yeah. she only makes an album every 10 years and tours once after 10 years. Because she's got money. She's, you know what I mean? She's, she's good. She owns the property, basically. Oh, yeah. But... It's hard, dog. It's like hard. It is, it is the it is the tougher ah, route. Dog. It's definitely the I tougher route. I'm taking the advance, dog. I'm taking the money, boy. <laughs> I'm taking the money, dog. Take the rights. <laughs> the, it's, it's about the train mind. Oh, yeah. That's that's true. Tiny, Tiny is right. It, it is about the train mind. But I also think you probably could make that compromise, ne? get signed. But I just think scrutinize that contract for me. It's very important. Mm-hmm. Scrutinize that yeah. contract. I, I, you should know most about that, yeah. food, you know? <laughs> Scrutinize that contract. Make sure if you're saying you're signing away five years of your time and life, then you know, Guti, whatever you're going to be making from that it financially and also, you know, the, 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 the main credit of, 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 of entertainment is your relevance. Mm-hmm. If you know, Guti, this, this is going to pay you financially and it's going to keep you relevant for that five years and definitely after that, you're a household name, then it wouldn't be a bad deal to sign. Yeah, mm-hmm. And then you know that obviously you've got your own plan for thereafter. Yeah, and talk mm-hmm. that type of thing. Then so I how you could make that compromise. Going, going back to the original question, right, that we, that we're having, um, how then do we tell our our families or explain our families that concept of you know what I mean? It's either you eat now or you eat for the next ten years. I don't think there's a way for them to like a way for you to explain it to them for them to understand. It really, really um, lies with how open-minded and how willing are they to uh, are they to understand you and also how much trust do they have in you that's all it is you mm. really won't be able to convince them or sometimes you're just gonna be like fuck it y'all will see when i pop and i come back you won't say no to this man yeah no, but my, you, my no you, this you know man. you know it's another thing about parents <laughs> my maid. and you know why about my maid? it's because it's because when they look at you they see the child yeah they see yeah. the child they you know what i mean chi- but now you will one day when yeah, you have your child have your they'll be telling yeah. you dad i know what i'm doing like oh tell me what do you know i've been there <laughs> And you will generally feel, oh, gee, this kid doesn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But then maybe in that instance, Shit, sometimes it even happens right. with your brothers. And like, exactly, you know, if you no. have siblings, it's like, exactly. like, say I'm older than you, I'm right. <laughs> that time you're not right. You know what I mean? You know, it's, it's, it's like that, bro. Because, uh, because just because Jay, you know that I birthed you, I brought you to this world, I clothed you, I mm. bathed you, I, you know, all of that mm. stuff. I you. think that, that that one is not, <laughs> that should never be in there. You should never think you should take, you can take me out. I'll take you out first. <laughs> Yeah, you know, but um, yeah, man, you they'll always feel good to you're a kid, you know, mm. and it will take a level of, 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 that's why I feel like parents who allow their kids to prosper that way, and then the kids actually really do do well, you know, kids, parents that trusted their kids with what they maybe picked up in them from a young age, like, hey, this one, that one likes the piano, let me put them in a the piano school quick, let's see how he does, and then you see, hey, the boy's doing good, hey, he actually likes this, okay, cool, let's put him in the, vi- in the violin class, you know, they're nurturing that entire process for mm. that kid to make sure, Guti, by the time he's 13, he's a genius with that stuff, maybe mm. if he started at six, mm. by the time he's 13, he's a genius, 
What's blocking you? What's what's blocking you from being the biggest star mm. in the world after that, mm. man? Because I mean, then it's all, all about you and passion that you put into it. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. So I really I I commend those parents who are able to see past those those walls and be and be able to put enough trust in their kids to let them do what they think will be best for them. Yeah, yeah man. Look, I I hear you. Um, and I I guess you are right. You know, there's not much. I've given up as well, trying to like you know speak with parents and like make them see a vision because sometimes they like they'll never see the vision you know when they see us here with the podcast it's just like these people are wasting their time you know what i mean they should be getting married by now it's getting late you know what i mean they should be having children and you know what i mean you know um, you know i mean of course i mean it happens you know you, you, your parents will look at you like you're 29 you should be having shot 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 you should be having children and having a wife you know what are you doing you're going to gigs you, you know what i mean they look at you like you're almost a failure you know yeah. even in your hood they look at you like yo this guy what's going on with him you know when you what go back home doing? in december and you go to like the ceremonies like bumshir and whatnot they're like okay so what's going on with the hotel like is he where's his wife you know we know he's been working for a couple of years <laughs> why is he always coming alone you know what i mean <laughs> he's always going to fetch food by himself like what's going on what's what, going what, on what i mean how old is he 28 yeah, yeah? You so know what, what I mean? you should be married by 28 well not married but like you know like they, they should be settled yeah they should Yo. be some type of come on ah. your, your mother thinks the same thing about you by the way no no the only thing she's come asked on no 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 no, no. the only thing older. she's asked me is when am i giving her a grandchild and i was like yo when the time's right the time's right mm. all i'm saying is my favorite uncle i should never have said that but anyway <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite uncles yeah you know i mean that guy i looked up to him from a young age he was mm. one of one of those uncles that came into the house and you were like yo i want to be like him you 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 always have that one family member mm, that you will mm, be like oh i want to mm, be like him. yeah, 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 yeah so he was family, one yeah. of those guys when me. when you go to the, the to the, 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 the meeting doesn't start until he gets I, there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know but when, when, when i fuck, i lost my train of thought now what was i saying <laughs> yeah yeah like w- w- and your mom wants you to have children oh yes mm. for me i was gonna say yeah what i was gonna say about him specifically my uncle is that he got married at 40 i think around 40 and he had his kids there after Shit. two kids now oh i am a no boy and they're growing up very well yeah. and he's good he's chill and he's, he's happy he's set and, um, yeah, I was about and to he say did he that must, at 40 yeah. and now this guy i'm money. talking about somebody who's basically worked in our space because mm. he was a brand ambassador for Red Bull from a young age, worked for them for a while. They took him to Port Elizabeth. He became an operations manager. Like he's, he's, he's basically, mm-hmm. he's got a proper profile. Up until he left them, I think in his mid thirties, he left them to start his own business and he's still running his own businesses till today. Mm, yeah. yeah. So like that type of guy for me, I'm like, that that's a fine. blueprint for me. Uh-huh. It's fine dog. If I don't get married now, you then you know. 40, you don't want to be chasing your kid at the park and you why why is your back so at 40 that's the problem it's really how about you yes it's about how you're living why is your back so at 40 (laughs) nah that's not right (laughs) 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 Ah, at 40 you should be good you should be able to run you should still be fresh to an extent dog yes here's the thing though i feel like and and for me that's the thing about having kids at like 40 that when you have a kid or get married at 40 that means you are hustling yeah i mean you're not yeah. gonna be waking up 2 a.m. in the morning. A child nah, is crying. No, 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 no. Nah, bro. You have a you have a nanny. They live in your compound somewhere in the. You know what I mean? Like your your life is settled in a way. You know what I mean? Because the the, the problem with chasing kids down the street it's because you had kids too young. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now <laughs> you can't afford the nanny to be able to help you to chase them down. You know? Me, I'm not gonna be chasing. I'll be at the park, but the nanny will be chasing my child. Like, yeah, yeah. Cause I'll have the man, you know. What yeah, I mean? yeah, and that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Not the nanny. I think. I think there's nothing wrong. <laughs> By the way, guys, I I I I, I rebuke the, the the name nanny or or word nanny. It's it's helper. Ne, helper. But nanny nanny is chill. Nanny is chill. Where you come from? Ah. Even helper. Ah, help helper. Yeah. You're an assistant. You're a sister. You're a helper. <laughs> But even manager. A, but assistant, assistant manager. manager. <laughs> assistant manager. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. But yeah. don't you feel like assistant also sounds like? Uh, it also uh, sounds messed up. Like think about it. In the workplace, when you're an assistant, the thing is, it went from maid. Like, you know what I mean? It went it's from like, maid 
to domestic worker and that also doesn't sound right now yeah. i think help us the best no but nanny is fine I mean, there's nanny. nothing wrong with nanny the yeah. maid the maid yes maid we understand mm. domestic work as well um helper you're right help also just sounds messed nah. up yeah 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 i think assistant is dope actually yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, from now onwards, we have made a broadcast into South Africa. There are no longer workers, domestic workers. Help us, no, it is assistant, an assistant. manager. <laughs> 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 Oh, Actually, man. that's that's a that's a that's a career path. ECD, yeah. early yeah, childhood yeah. development. Yeah. I mean, that's what my aunt yeah. specializes. There's even degrees in. and stuff in exactly. it as well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. it's, it's you know? a big thing. On that note, though, guys, uh, we've had we've hit an hour. I didn't even a get a chance to smoke my vape, dog. <laughs> hey, the son, he wants to he wants to use fuckboy things. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> smoking my vape. Come on, <laughs> Forrest, you see. <laughs> Great minds, dog. They think alike. <laughs> Listen. I don't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck that. No. Listen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has actually been a really great podcast. I've actually really enjoyed this one. There's a lot that we really, you know, um, spoke about and really got to unpack. And I think this is going to be a way forward. I think yeah. discussions like this were really dope. We had Tiny in the back over there. She's our third lady on the mic this week. Hopefully yes, she'll Lord. come often. Um, but we'll never know a Tiny. And then, of course, we had Street Workers Revival. Expect the unexpected. Issue. Akbar there doing the podcast videography vibes, you know what I mean? I'll go by the name of Wah Hotel. This is It Could Have Been a Prime with my boy. Trendy Lana. Otherwise, um, at Trendy underscore Big Fun on the socials. Um, catch me everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> before, before we do leave as well, check out next week on the 27th of, of this month, which is August. We're going to be at or rather curated is going to be at Sweetie's Beer Hall in Long Street. I'm going to be there DJing as well. Come through, come support them. Let's vibe. Where are you going to be next week? Are you going to... I don't know yet, but yeah, yeah. you guys keep it locked How about yesterday? Yesterday you were at... You at C Cantina. C Cantina yeah. was nice. Um, it was a quiet weekend. Uh, I think uh, people's pockets are on the low side. Yeah. So... <laughs> 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 yeah, well, uh, yeah. But, yeah. but funny enough, Souk was popping. Souk was really nice because after C Cantina, we went to Souk. But mm. C Cantina was dope. The set I enjoyed. Uh, one hour, 30 minutes. Played some dope, nice... Piano jams, you guys know who to call now. Ne? Issue. <laughs> so on, that, on that note, we yeah, out, man. man. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom.